Well, I can't do a Christmas special with Disney in here without mentioning the Big Mouse himself. Roll it! It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year Alright, so today on our show we're actually doing a double feature Mickey's Once and Twice upon a Christmas which is available as a two-pack on blu-ray DVD so what is this special about well I'm gonna break this down into two parts which I will it's all gonna be on one episode but I'm gonna make it kinda go into the because both movies are basically collections of short story he's merged together into one whole story with that said, let's talk about the first one on our list. On number one, called Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, we get three 2D animated shorts, stories, that all have Christmas motifs. The first story is basically Groundhog Day, with but replaced, but replaced Bill Murray and the rest of the cast with the usual... Disney characters, most notably the duck side of it, like Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and and Donald, and Daisy, and Scrooge, and all them, and put it on Christmas instead of Groundhog Day, and you pretty much got the idea for this one. The second story is kind of a standalone story where it focuses on Goofy and, and a young Max, even younger than his time on Goof Troop, who is kind of feeling a bit bummed because he is wondering at this point in time if Santa is still a real thing, despite Pete saying obviously not. And for those who are young in my audience and do believe in Santa Claus, there really was a Santa Claus. I won't get into details, but there really was a Santa Claus. And then there still is. Anyhow, uh, number three is basically a m slight adaptation of a s famous Christmas story called The Gift of the Magi, which is pretty good and stars Minnie and Minnie in their respective roles. Now, for the on to my review of the first half of the, for part one, this is actually a really cute little Christmas film. Well, special. It might as well be. With story number one, it's pretty much a, it starts off very goofy and, no, well, very funny and very much like, lighthearted, but eventually does go into a bit of a more dramatic side to the story. So, yeah, it's pretty much a enjoyable. The second story is for, is more there's still some good comedy but it's a little bit more dramatic particularly from Max's point of view and finally for the third story I kind of like this one but I've it's been a long time since I've read Gift of the Magi so I don't know all the real details about it so I'll give you my opinion of both of them at the end and we'll tell you what I my final thoughts. On to part two, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Now, Twice Upon a Christmas does... The pro is... Well, besides the fact this is CG, it has more stories, but the stories are also shorter as a result. So, with that said, let me tell you the basic plots of these five stories. Story number one is is basically about Minnie and Daisy performing an ice skating competition and pretty much having to duel each other in a ice skating joust. So, yeah. Story number two 
focuses on the Huey, Dewey, and Louie again, who feel that because they have been pretty naughty all year, they're worried about being on Santa Claus's nice list instead of being on the naughty list. So they go on a daring rescue to go put themselves back on the nice list and pretty much chaos ensues. The third the third story in this particular arc is pretty much a, another Goofy and Max story. And focuses on Max's new girlfriend who, and him trying to impress her while also trying to keep his dad in line. The rest are pretty much kind of forgettable. There's there's a story of Pluto who is mistaken for one of the reindeer. There's another one with Donald in it. And there's another one which focuses on Mickey. So, yeah. As you can tell, it's been a while since I've seen part two. Now, some of the stories I honestly do remember. Like the one with... Goof, with Goofy and the one with the three nephews while others are a bit more forgettable so forgive me if I sound like I am just you know me, 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 me. but you get the idea basically some stories are good some stories are rather forgetful but all in all it's still a good story so do I recommend Mickey's Once and Twice Upon a Christmas Here's my final say. For the in the case of the first one, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, I think it's an okay story. You're gonna get a good. You're gonna get the good feels. You're gonna get the laughs, and you know it's Disney. You can't go wrong with them. And for part two, yeah, it's you know it's not as good as part one, but there's definitely got more stories than part one. So, that's a win right there. So, join me tomorrow as I take a look at a Christmas special, which is now becoming one of those that appears every year. And it's, once again, a double feature. See you next time.